Welcome to another edition of Chef Wannabe's, your chef Tony. So if you want to have a delicious turkey, there are a few steps that you need to observe. The steps that I like to follow is first brining, second marinating, and third will be when you put it in the oven. It takes a while, you know, to marinate. And I've been to people's house where I've eaten turkey. You know, without naming names, you know, the turkey often sometimes tends to be bland. And me and my family and all those around me, we like our food seasoned quite well. Today, I'm going to show you and share with you what I do, you know, to give a little bit more taste to my turkey and also to keep my turkey moist. Because remember, your turkey or your poultry can get um, dry very quickly as you roast it in the oven for a long time which is why you want to brine your turkey now there are two different type of brines that you can do you can do a wet brine or you can do a dry brine for this specific video I'm going to teach you how to do a wet brine a wet brine I'm going to let it sit in it for about 24 hours now there will be a part two to this brining because after I wet brine it I'm gonna season it for another 24 hours which is actually gonna focus much more on the taste I have my lemons and my oranges and uh, I will also be adding some celery I have some shallots here some garlic and um, I'm also gonna be adding some lemongrass uh, just because I'm already using lemon I just cut a little bit of my uh, yellow uh, peppers that I still have in the fridge I have some sage some thyme and of course some bay leaves and i'm also going to be having a cinnamon stick in it and here i have my salt and i have my brown sugar this year i'm going to be trying to do my marinade with a apple cider or a sparkling apple cider i hope also have some peppercorn some coriander seed and some yellow mustard seed so for every 10 pounds of turkey that you have you want to use one gallon of water and by the way I want to give a special shout out to Lincoln Farm. If you guys can notice, I got myself a fresh bird. This bird is fresh. He's not coming from the store. He's not coming from any Walmart, from any Costco. I went to Lincoln Farm and I just want to say thank you to James. He was wonderful. James and his wife really took care of me when I went there. And I want to suggest to you guys, if you ever have a local farm next to you, please go pay them a visit. It's a good way for us to support our local farmers, to be part of a local community. You know, I'm really encouraging you guys, no matter where you live, if you live somewhere where there is a farm around, go visit them. Which is why I want to say thank you to Lincoln Farms for providing me with this beautiful and beautiful bird. I'm gonna try to make you guys proud of how I treat this bird. So now, if you guys are ready, let's get to the brining. And also, as I mentioned earlier, this is just part one. This is just for us to make sure that our turkey stays moist. Tomorrow, as you guys come back, I will show you now the marinade process. I'm going to add sparkling cider to my water solution. So now I'm going to add all my uh, aromatics. So I'm adding my oranges, my lemon, some garlic. Now I'm going to split it between two pots because my uh, turkey is a 20 pounder and I will need about two gallons in order to be able to submerge the turkey completely. Dumping some shallots here. And I'm gonna dump some lemongrass, sage, and a cinnamon stick. Now here I have my salt. Here I have about a cup and a half of salt. The brown sugar. I'm gonna add about one. 
one teaspoon of black peppercorn. And let's say about a teaspoon and a half of black peppercorn. I got like a teaspoon and a half here of coriander seeds. Here I'm going to put about a teaspoon and a half of yellow mustard seeds. Now that's that and we're going to get it to boil for about a good 10 minutes. Once it boils, make sure that your solution comes to room temperature before you put it on your turkey. You never want to put a hot solution on your turkey and the reason why you don't want to do that is because you are going to be creating some bacteria on your turkey. So never do that, just leave it um, to come at room temperature. Usually it can take you anywhere from an hour to two hours. And if you have the uh, pleasure of living uh, in a place where it's cold during Thanksgiving, you can definitely put your pot outside for about an hour and it's going to bring it to room temperature. So I'd much rather you maybe do that night and then probably use the solution in the morning it would have completely cooled off Tell you one thing, it smells delicious. That's all I can say. So the most important thing is to just get the uh, the salt to dissolve, and uh, you know, give it enough time for all the aromatics that we put in to you know to gel with the water and the apple cider and everything. I think now I'm going to turn it off and I will let it sit at room temperature so that it can uh, cool down a little bit. And once it's uh, well cooled, then I will be putting it with my beautiful bird that's waiting for me on the side.